Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome back to Dubster Adventures. Right, today we're going to fit the custom covers cab lines that we've got for the van. Um, in a previous video we tried to fit them but it was raining and the weather was a bit miserable and it's easier if we can open the doors yeah. and close the doors and things. We're going to get them fitted um, later on. Uh, got a busy day today, Brooke's working tonight because uh, she's on nights at the moment. Um, we've just been to the gym, haven't we? Yep. Brooke, Tom yeah. trains all the time but I only go when there's a holiday coming up and we've got a European holiday coming up in a few weeks so time for the gym. Yeah we've got a European holiday coming up in a few weeks. Now if you're new to the channel I'll put a link in the description below um, because like I said our European road trip's coming up very very soon like a matter of weeks away now. Um, so I'll put a link um, in the description below and then that way if you want to see obviously what it is that we're doing and obviously what we're getting up to on that you can have a look at that. Because one of the things that we need to do today is we have to get Thor a muzzle and the reason we need a muzzle is because when we go on the ferry from Barry across to Corfu uh, if Thor comes on deck he has to wear a muzzle. Now we have tried to get him a muzzle already but like some of them were too big, some of them were like tiny and like properly restricted his nose but we had a comment saying try a cage one so we're going to go to Pets at Home, we're going to try one of them shortly. So we're just going to take Thor for a walk around this park and then we're going to go to Pets at Home and then we're going to go and get the cab flying. Ca ca cab flying? Cab lines. Fitted. <laughs> there we go. been for a walk now so now next on the agenda we have to take this little guy Thor come here take him to Pets at Home right we're at Pets at Home now so let's see if we can find Thor a muzzle Right, so I think it's something like that that we need because last time we was looking at them but as you can see this bit here it basically keeps Thor's mouth shut and obviously we don't want that do we so let's have a look at one of these ones let's try this Thor ah. <laughs> I wouldn't want a muzzle stuck in my face either if I'm being honest with you. Come here. I think that see small, what do you reckon? Come here. Yeah, I think that's the one. No, that's the right size. That's the right size. size. Oh, he's off, he's off. <laughs> oh, come back here. Right guys, we found that this is the one, obviously, we just tried it on and we can't do it properly in here because he's obviously a bit stressed in here, so... And there's lots of dogs and everything. So let's go and pay for this, and then we'll see you in a minute. Right, guys, uh, back in the van now. Um, we've got Thor's muzzle now. Uh, like I said, not really happy that he has to wear a muzzle, but on the ferry, he has to wear one if he goes on deck when we go from Barry to... Uh, over to Corfu. And rules are rules, and all the other dogs will have to wear one, so... Thor's got to wear one. Um, the ferry crossing is only about eight hours. Um, but obviously during that time, if he wants to like go out and go for a little wander, stretch his legs and things, he's going to have to put that on. So we've got that now. Um, just been having a look at it. And apparently um, it's one of the best ones you can get. And it's been approved by some pet psychologist. So we're happy with that. Right. Next thing on the agenda. We're going to fit these um, creative cover blinds now. Um, like I said, we were going to fit them last week, um, but the weather um, didn't allow us to. So, got them here ready. Um, what we need to do is, I basically need to put some holes in the pillars. Right, okay, so I've moved over onto this side, because so I'm going to do this side first. Now, what I've already done, just quickly show you, I've drilled a 2mm hole 
at the top. Now it says on the instructions that what you do is you follow the ridge to the top and basically there's like a, a point right at the very top and you just drill a two millimeter hole and then what you do there is you actually screw the um, poppers that are actually supplied. So I've already drilled the holes, uh, so I'm just gonna screw them in and obviously show you what they look like when they're in. Right, so I've got the popper in position and just basically screw it in. It does say on the instructions, do not over tighten these because obviously it's screwing into plastic, so I would imagine it will just keep spinning if you do it too tight. Okay, so that's quite tight there, so I'm just gonna leave that at that. But yeah, as you can see, the screwed popper in there. I've done the bottom one. Sorry for the crazy angle here, but yeah, there's one there. Like I said, one at the top, one there. So basically, what you do guys, you do that on both sides. So I'm gonna go and do the other side now, and then I'll show you how the front blind fits. Hi guys. So Tom's just come and got me out of the house cause he needs his labrous assistant <laughs> to fit these. So let's go. Right, so they actually come in a bag, these covers, uh, which is good. Um, it's got the two side blinds and the main one. So the poppers are fitted on both sides now. So we'll just get Brooke now to... Let me figure out which one. Yeah, obviously we have to <laughs> figure it out because they actually, part of it actually hooks over the sun visor so, as well. So. Two poppers. One down at the bottom. And one at the top. And then this comes down and threads over there. And then the same on that side. I'll, the I'll pop this in on this side here and up there. Obviously, they'll need a bit of adjusting and things. Yeah, there we go. And obviously, that goes right down to the. Yeah, obviously, you have to tuck it in properly. And the good thing is. It's not actually touching the windscreen, so obviously if you get any condensation and things, it's not going to yeah. drip onto the actual uh, blind. Okay, so now that's the front the one done. Ones. And now the side ones, they're the ones that are on the magnets. It's not that easy to remember to figure out which way around it Because we've got magnets in them, you have to sort of like untangle it first to obviously get it in. But as we always say, we don't edit stuff, we just stick it in as it is because this is like real time, so if anybody else got these blinds, at least they know. So sometimes you just have to like fiddle about with which yeah. way it goes, like pull them so there's no... Yeah, pull them tight. Well, once you've done it a couple of times though, you'll know. Yeah, you'll figure it out. Yeah, just pull that bit down. Right. Sorted. I think, huh? do you not need to open the door to put them on? Well, it probably is easier. Should we try it on the... We'll, we'll try it on the driver's side one. So we're going to put the driver's side one on now. Get back to you in a second. Right, okay, so we've stood outside now. Uh, try it this way and it is a lot easier, isn't it? Yeah, it fits it, stretches it out over the... Yeah, you can get the shape of it properly, so... I think it covers it a lot better and just keeps it right. straight. I'm gonna get in though. Right, okay, you get in. Right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get in the back of the van because obviously it's quite dark in there now, so you can't really see a great deal. So I'll get in the back of the van, shut the doors, and see what it's like. Beep. Right, guys, I'm I'm now sat in the back of the van. Obviously, I've got the side door open. Thor's out there trying to get in. Um it's quite dark. Obviously, we've got like the both side blinds on, uh, on now, and obviously the front one and literally took us, what, a minute to fit yeah. them. So there's no issue, obviously, getting them fitted. Um, I'm gonna now shut the side door, um, but it'll obviously be quite dark in here, but it might just give you a bit of an idea how much of a blackout blind they are. So I'll just shut this door. Well, the good thing is, what we're gonna do is, this seat here, we're going to get a swivel base when we come back off our holiday. Now, the good thing is, because we've actually got these um, curtains here that obviously when Thor's cage is moved and stuff at night time we close both of these obviously to keep the front um, you know like private and blacked out and obviously we've got these blinds here as well and obviously that makes everything um, like so it's quite dark in here yeah. we've, we've got them on the back as well but the good thing is when we get the swivel seat here 
we won't have to, we won't have to shut these blinds. We can put these up and it'll create such a big space. Yeah, it'll give the illusion of having so much more space. So, yeah. Because at the minute we shut these, so you lose all of this space. Yeah, but when that's turned round, it's going to give us so much more yeah. room. Um, can, obviously, Thor's cage won't be there when the... Yeah, when we have that done. So, yeah, really, really pleased them blinds. Highly recommend them. We'll put a link in the description below. Do uh, you want to just take the side ones off now, Brooke, while we're sat in there? Just show how easy they are. Literally, they just literally just come off like that, as you can see. And the other one. And then, obviously, the front ones just pop off as well. So, yeah, highly recommend. Going to put a link in the description below. So, go and get some. Right, guys, today's video is short and sweet. Um... I was gonna say like Brooke, but she's taller than me, so You're that, short. that's why I just said that. So. <laughs> anyway, um, our next video or one of the next videos we're gonna do because like we keep saying it, we're doing our European road trip um, in literally a matter of weeks now. Uh, we're going to do a video why the reason telling you guys why we're actually driving to Corfu. Yeah, um, actual yeah there's movies. reasons behind why we're doing the trip, um, but we'll explain that uh, in a video coming up. You got anything to add? Anything that we've done today or anything? No. No? It's been a busy day. Happy with the blinds? Yeah, I like them. Yeah, like I said, do recommend them. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. So from me. And me. And Thor, who's in the garden, sniffing around, being his usual self. Until next time, bye, bye for now. Don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe. Bye.